On a terrific spring evening, 50,000 Sounders fans expected in the house tonight to take on San Jose Earthquakes. Seattle looking to re-establish their superiority as the best team right now in Major League Soccer. Of course, you're, you're missing Dempsey, Evans, DeAndre, yeah, well. so, and, but Zach Scott also comes in at center back for Jimmy Triori. About that physical presence not being there, you got Alan Gordon out, you got Steven Lenhart. Atiba Harris will be called upon to be that physical presence up top. He has no problem doing that. He's a player that loves to mix it up in himself. 50,000 expected at CenturyLink Field this evening. Seattle still with the best record in Major League Soccer. What response will it be from last week's defeat at New England? So in that defeat at New England last Sunday. So two new fullbacks for tonight. That was Jalil Ali Baba. And here he is again, just his second start for Seattle. Chance for San Jose to come forwards, but Leo Gonzalez has read it well. Cooper finding Nagel, deflected shot, and John Bush is safely behind it. First effort of the game. Papa. Pineda has drifted into space. Martin's making a run. Gets in there. What an effort! What a goal! It's over, baby Martins! And listen to this, guys! It's a symphony you could only summon in Seattle. That is absolutely phenomenal piece of skill from Obafemi Martins. John Bush seeing the situation exactly what I would have done as a goalkeeper. I would have stayed on that near post. There's only one place Obafemi could have even thought about scoring. And that's with just a, a looped ball. He had a tight angle. He had to put it on a postage stamp, and that's exactly what he did to open the scoring tonight. I mean, it was going to be hard enough for San Jose to come in here with this depleted team. On being tough to beat and tough to concede goals, and they've been going in a little bit too regularly for the likes of Chad Marshall and Troyori and Zach Scott. And I know Stephen Fry didn't want to start his tenure as a, a goalkeeper in Seattle conceding a lot of goals. There you go. Man at the far post is Kenny Cooper! It was very close to being number two. Sean Francis coming across to stop Cooper from getting a free chance on goal. Yeah, the ball just kind of came to a little bit of an awkward height for him. You know, it was like, do I head it? Do I sweep it in with the side of my foot? And in the end, Francis just coming across and doing enough to knock that out for a corner, but a great opportunity for Kenny Cooper. There's the set piece, but yeah, you would think that San Jose, maybe not without Gordon and Lenhart, aren't quite the, the presence in these type of situations. So much so that Kari Stevenson has a go. And he struck it sweetly. Well, Kari Stevenson has a great shot from distance. Maybe a little optimistic off of a set piece from that type of range. But I guess they decide, it looks like nobody was 40, 40 yards. yards. Yeah, all of 40 yards and has been unable to direct a couple of those shots on target. But a player that you really have to be aware of in and around the 18 because he has such a great strike from distance. Here's Alonso releasing Martins down the left-hand side. Papa motoring down the centre in support. And Ty Harden, the former UW defender, does very well. Still Martins. Cooper on the edge of the six-yard box. Nagel arriving. Lamar Nagel! Saved by Bush. What a volley by Nagel. Beautifully found by other Femi Martins as well. That was almost number two. The veteran goalkeeper did his job. My Facito warming up, perhaps getting ready. Here comes Gonzalez. Marco Papa. Yeah, let's see how to meet him. That's the feet of Pineda. In he goes to Martins. Nagel off the dummy. Nagel! What a save again by John Bush. Well, he gets better with age. I think Nagel thought that one was going in. Yeah, it was a good job from Nagel trying to hit it back across John Bush's body. But it's a, it's a dummy by Martins. And the challenge from Francis creates, as he falls down, and it's just a lot of space. Nagel decides he's going to try to hit it back across Bush, which is the right thing to do. 
keeping a clean sheet, bearing in mind what happened at Gillette Stadium last weekend, would be soothing for the Sounders tonight. Barron, still Barron. Here's Papa, working against Barclay, into the penalty area, one step over, two, to the byline. Cross comes in, backflip, has it crossed the line? No, Ozzy Alonso, and again, John Bush repels the Seattle Sounders. Well, this is a huge missed opportunity from Ozzy Alonso. Excellent chance from Marco Papa. Creating this chance, Barrett finds Papa with lots of space. You thought that maybe he'd, he'd waste too much. Ozzy just peels off into that area just at the top, and he just doesn't catch it very cleanly. From Seattle, John Bush has prevented the score piling up here in the second half. Nagel, trickery from him, a footing from Francis. Pineda wins it back, Nagel, possibility to Seattle, the ball goes across, and again, it's John Bush, Chad Barrett with the effort, good defending by Brandon Barclays with the challenge, but Bush will not be beating in front of the, beaten in front of the Brawl men tonight. Largest attendance at an MLS match so far this season, it won't stay that way, there'll be more here for games later in the year. Oh, I'm sure when Portland comes into town, it's all over. Three points for the Seattle Sounders.